Thanks for joining us tonight for WDRB News at 10 o'clock. I'm Joel Skipper. A federal jury found former LMBD officer Brett Hakeson guilty of using excessive force and violating Breonna Taylor's civil rights during the deadly raid on her apartment in 2020. Meanwhile, Hakeson was found not guilty of violating the civil rights of Taylor's neighbors. WDRB's Molly Jett explains how we got from March 13th, 2020 to last night's verdict. Molly. Brett Hakinson was the only officer charged for his actions during the raid. Three other officers were charged with their role in the search warrant affidavit, which included false information. Taylor's family says they've been waiting for nearly 1700 days for someone to be held accountable. The fight for justice. 1694 days rested upon another jury. I'm etern eternally indebted to them. For a third time, I woke up thinking I had a dream. On November 1st, a federal jury found former LMPD officer Brett Hankison guilty. Thank you. Thank you. Of using excessive force and violating the civil rights of Breonna Taylor while raiding her home in 2020. I'm sorry it was so long and I'm sorry it was so hard, but it needed to be done. And I'm glad that they, they got it done. In the same day, the jury found Hankison not guilty of violating the civil rights of Taylor's neighbors. I hate the way that that played out, but I, I'm, I we got something, so I hope that they are grateful for that. Hankison is one of four former officers who were charged for their role in the Breonna Taylor raid. One is waiting sentencing. Two have trials pending. I had lost a lot of faith. And I think that this gave me a little more hope. So I'm ready for another battle. That raid was on March 13th, 2020. Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, says he thought someone was breaking in, so he shot at police. He hit officer John Mattingly. Police shot back, killing Taylor. Brianna mattered and, and she was loved by so many people and she deserved so much better. LMPD issued a statement on Saturday saying in part, LMPD respects the jury's verdict. It is not lost on us that this event forever altered the fabric of our community and we acknowledge the pain caused by the death of Breonna Taylor. Hundreds were arrested in May of 2020 during protest and many later saw their charges dismissed. We couldn't have got here without them. Um, I'm grateful for them. The judge will decide the Hakeson sentence on March 12th of next year. He is facing a maximum of life in prison. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, Mayor Craig Greenberg, and former Mayor Craig Fisher, Greg Fisher all made statements on the verdict. To find what they had to say, head to our website on WDRB.com. With photojournalist Mason Mills, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News. All right.